Okay, are we on the same page now? Hello, are we together? The presentation. Um, I can see the presentation. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So, uh, we are on. Let's, uh, yeah, let's uh, proceed. Yeah, so these are slides. There are just a few slides that are, uh, are able to give you, put into perspective what we are, what we are learning in our first uh, hour in the course uh, within the day. So, typically, this is what uh, you are talking about because you told me that, uh, what you are handling is uh, about uh, a, a gable, a gable, a house with the gables. And now this is how it's uh, a typical one and this is how it's looking like. So let me just uh, zoom in so that you, you are able to see the various parts. Yeah, so you can see the trusses. These are trusses. So these are just uh, details when uh, the roof covering has been removed so that you can uh, you can see the details of this roof. So the trusses are here. So you can uh, see the ones that are running. Uh, the ones that the V-shaped, the V-shaped uh, structures, those are the trusses. And then the one at the top of it, uh, leave alone the smaller ones running across the, uh, across the, the we have the rafters. Let me see if uh, I can highlight for you that just now. Okay. Okay, I want to highlight for you the 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 the, the, the rafters. Nice. So the one that I've just highlighted is one of the one of the rafters. Okay? So that is the one I meant while I was telling you about the rafters. Hope you can see that. Okay, I can get you now. So I've got, yeah, I've just highlighted the, the rafter. And then we have the palings. So the one I've highlighted just now is the rafter. And then uh, we also have we also have the palings. Uh, the palings are now the smaller, the smaller members, smaller roof members that are running across across the rafters. I hope you can see them. They are in number one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then five. So. Uh, Five is this one here. So those are uh, five number palings on one side. So those ones are also measured in linear meters. The rafters are also measured in linear meters. So if uh, the rafters are uh, steel members, then they will be measured in uh, kgs. But first of all, you need to get the length of those members. And then as we had discussed previously, you now have a conversion factor. For example, how many kgs are there in uh, one meter, uh, one meter of, of steel? So once you have that, then you now convert your linear meters into kgs. We also talked about uh, wall plate. Wall plate, I told you that it's the one that is now in uh, direct contact with either, uh, with either the three courses on the wall up above the ring beam or it can also be lying directly on the ring beam yeah the same direction as uh, the palings that you've just talked about so if I can highlight for you wall plate is running there okay I hope that was uh, clear for you okay yeah so we've uh, done the wall plate we've done the rafters we've also seen uh, the palings 
So uh, the now the real deal here is uh, how do you get those lines? So I told you that, uh, <coughs> for example, the palins, uh, I mean the wall plate, they are running directly on top of uh, of the ring beam along the <coughs> along the longer the longer length of this uh, given plan. So when you have your plan, then you simply uh, calculate uh, the. So you just get uh, calculate the the length that you have for your plan. Once you have the length, then you are able to get. For example, in this side, for uh, say this is twenty. This is uh, for example this is uh, twenty meters. So twenty meters times two, you get the total length of both the palings of both the wall plate. Sorry, on both sides. Then you do your conversion. You have your kgs. Okay, so what should be next now? <coughs> so, uh, leaving the truss, uh, okay, now uh, from the roof covering, these are some of the members or some of the components of that roof uh, which you can, uh, you can also appreciate. Yes. <coughs> So this is how it also looks like. Now once the covering has been placed on uh, that uh, roof construction uh, structure, then we have various parts. Of course the covering, uh, which is now the common and uh, majority would know is that covering, but then there are now different parts of that roof covering. For example, we can see here, we have the valleys. So these are the valleys. Uh, let me just see if we have another color. Okay, yeah, so the one I've highlighted, we have the valley over there. So, valleys are also measured in linear meters, but then you now just describe, depending on the on the size of that given uh, diameter of that given uh, uh, valley covering. So you state the length, and this length, you will realize that it's relating to uh, what we have, depending on the slope of the roof, because it's slanting, so definitely uh, that length is not is not uh, going to be uh, obtained directly from from the house plan. You'll need to get how those uh, distances are, how that slope and uh, the slope. You get the slope, and then you now relate it to the given length on the plan and calculate uh, what we call now uh, the slanting uh, the slanting length. So that is the valley. Okay, of course we'll now break it uh, further uh, if need be uh, in terms of now the final calculation of such length, for example, the rafters, the rules that are there, and then how to get now the mm, actual actual length. So we have the valley. <coughs> then we have hip and ridge. So the ridge ridge is the one that's now on on the what we call the the ridge board. Okay, perpendicular. I mean, uh, uh, it's also in a line par parallel to, parallel to the palings, the palings that we had also seen in the just in a moment ago. Then hip. Now hip. If you can see this uh, arrow so clearly, the hip. That is now one of the hips. So the hip is uh, on one side and then on the other side, making that uh, triangular. A triangular shape you can see from that given uh, part then uh, yeah there is also this concept of uh, raking cutting which is also uh, a concept that isn't so familiar or uh, simple to obtain but then from these uh, uh, dimensions I mean from these images that I've uh, projected here you can see there is a rake and gable end Okay, and this part, and then also on the other, on the other side. So it's simply a technology. Uh, when you have to do, when you are doing the, let me try to. Uh, let me uh, let me delete the highlights. Mm -hmm. 
yeah so uh, it's here yeah so the gable uh, the gable end we have what we call uh, the rake and the gable end on this uh, other side so all those are also uh, also done in meter as an extra over item extra over as uh, also just to note extra over means that whenever you are doing the roof covering you've already calculated those items somewhere for example the gable end you will do it as an extra over but then in real sense you've already done what we call the uh, the overall measurement of the roof so it's an extra over because it will require or it it will require an additional uh, additional input for you to achieve that given uh, that given uh, works at that given point so it's measured an extra over item 